Hey Jim, this is Parker at Uncharted Recreation here in Meridian, Idaho. Uh, in front of me I've got two six-seater carts that we carry. I uh, just wanted to go over the pros and cons to each of them, what makes them different, what makes them similar. Um, that way hopefully you can make a decision uh, based on what's important to you. So over here on the right, this is the 2023 Venom G6L. So it's a six-seater, it's lifted. Um, both of these are street legal, by the way. And then this one here on the left is my Epic E60L, also a six-seater, also lifted, also street legal. So um, let's start with the Venom and kind of go from there. Um, if there's any similarities, I'll just let you know. So uh, right off the bat, both of these are gonna have a five kilowatt motor with 4.8 horsepower. Um, however, the Epic cart has a 400 amp controller, whereas the Venom is a 350 uh, amp. So a little bit different there. Um, as far as batteries, that's probably one of the biggest differences between these carts. So the uh, Venom's gonna have the lithium battery, whereas the Epic cart is going to have a sealed AGM battery. Both batteries are great choices. Um, both are an upgraded battery option. Um, however, lithium is a little bit more premium. Um, it's a little bit torquier and it's also gonna give you a little bit more longevity in the long run. However, it is more expensive. So um, AGM's great for winter on the Epic cart. Um, so it does well in cold weather, whereas lithium can sometimes, um, your range is, will deplete a lot quicker in the colder climate. Um, but yeah, either way, they're, they're both zero maintenance batteries, um, but overall lithium's considered a little bit more premium. Um, so just take, just have to pick and choose what's more important to you. Now, as far as range goes on your Epic over here, you're gonna get anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per charge. Whereas your Venom, you're gonna get 35 to 40 miles per charge. And again, that just, that's really just a result of the battery size and capabilities. Uh, both are street legal. As mentioned, these are uh, registered as low speed vehicles with your DMV. So legally they cannot exceed 25 miles an hour which is what both of these will top out at there are ways to reprogram them to go faster however that might void your warranty so i would look into that before doing anything there um, both are going to have um, speakers so here on the venom your speakers are actually mounted hopefully i can get this in view here but you've got a speaker here underneath your dash and you've got another one on the other side just over there the Venom speakers sound okay, but I'd be lying to you if I told you that um, they sounded better than the Epic. So on the Epic, you've got this giant sound bar up here, which sounds really, really good. You can actually add a second sound bar and even a subwoofer to this unit if you wanted to. So just throwing that out there. So the sound is better on the uh, on the epic as far as brakes both are going to have four-wheel disc brakes um, however when it comes to suspension uh, even though they're both coil over suspension on the epic it's adjustable so you can adjust uh, your preload and soften it up or stiffen it up depending on your preference whereas on your venom you do not have any adjustment it is what it is so if that's important to you, one thing to note. Windshield is also a big difference between these two carts. So on this cart here, you have your typical acrylic windshield. Now it is tinted, which is nice. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. It's kind of hard with this lighting, but uh, it is a tinted acrylic. So it is shatter resistant, which is nice. You can actually fold it down if you want uh, to feel a little bit more breeze. However, on the Epic, you get a solid glass windshield automotive grade, which is super nice, uh, keeps the noise level down because it's not flexing or anything in the wind. Um, so yeah, those are the differences there. Seat belts. Um, so on your Epic, you're actually gonna have a three-point harness just like you would in, in any car. So three-point harness seat belt. Whereas on your Epic, or excuse me, your Venom, you just have your standard lap belt. And then as far as tire and wheel size, both are gonna have 14 inch wheels. 
So here's the wheels on the Venom. It's kind of a glossy black, the nice off-road tread. And then same thing goes for the Epic. Both tires are pretty aggressive, um, but both perform well on pavement. And then you probably noticed on this Epic here, you do have a metal clay basket, which is integrated into the frame. Um, I've seen kids stand on this. It's, it's pretty robust. You can strap stuff down, maybe like a cooler uh, or any backpacks or anything you're bringing with you up front here. So this one has a little bit more of a utilitarian look to it, whereas this one just has your front bumper and that's it. All right, and then one thing I will note, uh, note on the build quality between the two, the Epics tend to be a little bit more sturdy and robust. I mean, I can sit here and shake this thing and it just, everything is integrated into the frame. So very little squeaking or any noise. Uh, whereas on your Venom, you can, I don't know if you can hear that okay, but it'll definitely rattle and squeak a little bit more. Not to say that it's built poorly, um, but they use a little bit more plastics, whereas the Epic's gonna use more metal materials. Um, now, as far as technology goes, the Venom is definitely um, quite a bit nicer in that regard. You're gonna, you'll notice you've got LED lights up front, whereas they're still using the old halogen bulbs on the Epic here. Now, we do have an LED light upgrade to fix that, but just know that that's how it comes stock. Another big difference is on your Venom, you're gonna have this big old 10 inch multimedia display, which is Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay compatible. So pretty nice there. It also has our built-in radio, so you can listen to your favorite stations there. You have a secondary uh, display up here as well, which is gonna tell you how fast you're going, your battery range, how many miles are on the unit that sort of thing. You will have lockable storage as well with cup holders on either side. Just like that. Little analog clock below that. And then your hazards. And then that little power button, that's your battery kill switch. So being a lithium battery, you do not want this thing to drain completely. It's not good for the battery health. So that switch allows you to completely turn off the battery to conserve uh, your range. Pretty cool. All right, now you'll notice these both have the high back seats, which are extremely comfortable. However, on the Venom, you do have an adjustable headrest, whereas you don't on the Epic. So, and then this is the, the saddle brown color on this black, gloss black cart here. Your charge port is gonna be in the same spot on both of them, so just right down here. Uh, it'll blink while it's charging. Um, it'll blink red and then it'll uh, turn solid green when it's fully charged. Your charge cable looks like this for both of them. So it just plugs into your standard um, house plug. Pretty straightforward. Another thing is your Venoms come with running boards and your Epics do not. So keep that in mind. Under your second row seats here, this is where the battery is located on both of them. So this is your big lithium battery here. So your 51.2 volts, 100 amp hours, in case you're wondering the battery size. Actually, I'll show you this while I'm in here. This does have a manual um, override if you need to put this thing into neutral. Let's say the battery dies completely. Completely, You can hit that switch and uh, throw this thing into neutral so that you can either push it or tow it where you need to put it. Now coming around to the rear, on both of them, you're going to have this fold down back seat that turns into a little bit of a truck bed. So hard plastic uh, material. You can bring dogs with you. You can strap coolers down, whatever you want to do. But this one also comes with a storage compartment back here. So you can hide stuff under the rear seat, which is nice. Okay. This is kind of what the back of the cart looks like. All right, so I'm gonna move over to the Epic for a second. So your multimedia screen on the Epic, 
A lot smaller, it's about a seven inch screen diagonally. Uh, it'll just display your battery, your miles per hour, uh, your odometer, and then what gear you're in. So pretty straightforward, but also very user friendly. This one does not have a battery kill switch because you don't really need one on this cart. So just your turn key, drive selector. It does have a turtle and a rabbit mode. The turtle mode locks it at 15 miles an hour and the rabbit allows you to go the full 25 miles an hour. Light switch, hazards, pretty straightforward. Blinkers here on the side with your horn. This one even has a windshield wiper. Kind of nice. Now, depending on the cart color that you pick, that'll determine the color stitching you have in your seat. So because this is the charcoal gray, it's going to have a gray stitching in the black leather here. All right, so under your second row here, this is where all your six AGM batteries are located, along with your power supply. You have a similar switch on this one to force it into neutral if you ever need to. The advantage of this battery setup though is if it does come time to replace the batteries in this thing, it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg like it would with the lithium. So keep that in mind as well. You do actually get some storage under your front seat um, as well as the additional two batteries sit up front here. Pretty straightforward. Coming around to the rear, your cup holders and armrests are a little bit nicer on the Epic. It's a leather versus on these, it's a hard plastic material. The other nice thing about the Epic is when you fold down your bed here, this is a metal diamond plate, so it's a little bit um, heavier duty. Supports 350 pounds back here, which is quite a lot. You do get a backup camera on both of these. So on the Epic, it's gonna be located just back here. And then on the Venom, See if I can find it. It's gonna be located right there. All right. Sound bar is gonna be a lot nicer on this one, like I said, compared to the speakers that come on the other one. You do have some cool light Speaker settings. So you can change the color lights on the unit, on the front and back. Now, if you bought the subwoofer kit, which I've got on the shelf right over here, so that subwoofer, can be mounted underneath the cart down here, and it can tie into the rest of the system. So, pretty cool. Alrighty. As far as storage, you do have lockable storage up front here. You do have uh, cup holders, a little spot to hold stuff. And then you have these three switches, so two on this side and one on the other. Um, those are pre-wired for any accessories you want to add to this thing. So maybe you want to add a light bar to the front, maybe underglow lights, or you want to get really creative. Um, they've included three pre-wired switches for you to take advantage of, which is kind of nice on the Epic. So just walk around this side so you can see it. Now, if you want my personal opinion as far as how these two handle, I actually like how both of them handle, especially the six seaters being a long wheelbase. They're both extremely comfortable to ride in. Um, however, I will tell you the uh, Venoms definitely have a little bit more torque, low end power. I mean, they'll get up and go and it, you can feel it. These do pretty well as well, but the Epic really shines um, with that adjustable coilover suspension. It's a little bit more forgiving. Um, you'll notice that the ride quality is maybe a little bit better on the Epic, whereas the Venom might be a little bit more fun to drive just because of how punchy it is. Um, realistically, they both drive really well, so I don't want to steer you one way or the other. But uh, yeah, that's my review. Let me know if you have any questions.